Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI, welcoming you to Let's Play Code Veronica X, this is episode 20. In between the last episode and this episode, I mixed up three green herbs. One was in the inventory, two in the box. So let's get going. We need to get back to the painting now, which will take all of, like, two seconds. <laughs> and I can't quite remember what happens after that, but it can't be too much. <laughs> Otherwise I'd remember it, maybe. Um, I know, I think we get a control clear one more time in the game. So maybe that's what's coming up next. I don't know. Anyways. Here we go. We gotta check this jewel first that we got from Alexia. And use it. With all three jewels used, we can carry on. Um, yeah. Right, this area is a sort of imitation of the private residence from the island. Oop, let's go this way. <laughs> Away from the zombie. So, it's sort of like a new area entirely from the... Antarctic is not obviously, but it feels like it. You know. Oop, oop. Let's get that. Code Veronica report. Let's see how it is exactly. Um, doesn't seem to be saying anything interesting, really. To do a surrogate mothers. Okay. Alexia was exactly what they'd been looking for. Well, Alexander. I already determined their names. The girl's name Alexia and the boy's name Alfred. I'm certain that Alexia will elevate the name of the Ashford family to extreme glory. You know, I think she could have if she didn't screw everything up with that experiment and everything. But it happens. She was so intelligent that she thought she could do all the experiments and everything on her own. I think that's what happened anyway. Can't open this with my hands. Okay. Flashing blue light. Yep. Gotta be a button. That's the last of the dragonfly wings. I was... I forgot where that was. Forgot it was by here. Okay. So we got all four. Now we just need to find the... Um... Where to use them. It's a large capsule. I know. I'm looking for the angan ammo. God alive. So it's down here? I think it is. Good. Should try up this way? Probably is. You've unlocked the door. Let's check the map. So that'll lead back to an inventory box. It's okay, we don't need to do that. Just come in here for the... Oh, I just saw something. It might be important. I'm not sure how many enemies are left before the boss and everything, but... I just saw shot. There they are. Shotgun shells. Oh wow, I didn't know we were so low on shotgun shells. I thought we had more left. Must have killed more hunters along the way than, than I thought. So, we can carry on through the corridor now. Just went in there for the dragonfly. Wing. Let's get the hanging out, because we know the zombies by you from earlier. Die, you bastard. <laughs> Am I actually shooting it or over it? Oop. There are going to be quite a few in this corridor. Quite a few zombies. Oh, God, still alive. <laughs> I wasn't even aiming at it properly then. It's still hitting him. It's pretty good. Not for him, obviously. <laughs> Right, um... Okay, we'll try this room. Okay, so... Safe point in here, that's, that's really handy. There's gotta be something else in here, isn't there? Or, maybe not, but... Ah, key! We need that.
yeah, yeah, Veronica again. Let's examine the key. It should say something like biohazard symbol. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is combine some more herbs and get the ink ribbons. Actually, no, there's no point saving, is there? Can we light the candlestick? No? Okay. Just got to try and remember that there's some ink ribbons by the save point and, you know, we'll be fine. More herbs? Bloody hell! <laughs> I haven't got space for more. I suppose the last boss is coming up pretty soon, so it makes sense that they give loads of herbs and ammo and whatever else. I'm going to try and bulk record this last couple of episodes, just because I think this is the last opportunity I'll have to actually bulk record. Because everyone's out of the house, which is quite shocking. That never happens around you. So I've got like an hour to get it all done. There's no point taking the plate yet. What we need to do, just like when we did these rooms before, we need to move the music box plate um, to the other one by using insect gems, you know? So we need to find two insect gems, one that's hot, one that's red, one that's blue. Just like before. Oh my god, stay down. It's a good job we won't need anger ammo much longer. <clears throat> Hat come off. I love it when the hats come off. I don't sympathise with you at all. Anyway. <laughs> the blue gems. Yeah, that's right. And um, both gems, actually. So let's go and get them. Now that the electricity is off, make sure the electricity is off. Otherwise, this won't work out at all. We can come through this way using the sterile room key. So, we can pick up two gems from the tiger statue, which would have turned if the electricity was on. We need one more space, actually. There we go. One green herb hardly, hardly heals you at all, but, you know, you might as well take it. Because of in terms of, like, Inventory space and everything now. What I'm gonna have to do is put the re is put the jewel in the box that's closed first. So we haven't got room to pick up the music plate. Or the record as we know it. <laughs> it's actually going well. I normally get a little bit confused at that point with the tiger. I don't know why, you only have to turn the electricity off. But I do. So like, like I said earlier. I need to go this way first. And use the gem. Oh my arm. Got a coat. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Got a coat on the wire. It hurts. Blue, okay. Let's use the blue one. Now to the other room, and use the red one. Well, once we take the plate, I suppose. Ah, we could have used the red one first, anyway. I didn't realise it worked like that. Oh well. Why do they call it a music box plate? It is just called a record, isn't it? I'm not missing something. Is a music box plate like... Like another type of record? Like... I don't know. <laughs> and there we go. Just like in the private residence. So up we go, up into the attic. Or... I don't know, would a base have an attic? 
It looks like an attic anyway. <laughs> you know. No need for heartbeats, come on. Hurry it up. Bit different up here this time as you can see already. Here we go, this is what we came for. And if we haven't got the four dragonfly wings by now, you'd have to go back down and sort everything out, you know. So what do we do with the gold dragonfly? You tell me. <laughs> Actually, I don't think we use it up here. No, we don't. I remember. We can actually go for the last boss now. Oh yeah. But what I'm going to do first is save, obviously. Nothing? Okay. Let's go. That's what we came up here for. Yeah. We're going to have to hit back and save first. Um, which way is best? This way. Then we're going to have to head back to the inventory box. And, um... Ah, oh, I thought he'd get me there. Get. And sort ourselves out for the boss. Get off me! Do you think it'd take too many, so many shots, you know? Down you go. That move. <laughs> it's faster reloading, Chris's handgun, than Clear's, um... What's it called? This is called the Glock, but what's Clear's called? I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. So many zombies. It's unbelievable, really. Check the map just for a moment. I gotta get my bearings. Safe point is where the pink diamond is in Belay, in the room we're next to. Blue is um back through that little lab room. And then we're I know, I know. Back to the sort of prison cell where Steve transformed and everything. So let's combine the two herbs. I'm actually going to use them now. So we're not going to be able to carry all our herbs we've got anyway. Anyway, this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again in the next episode when we head for the very last boss in a bit.